Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Squeezy Peasy with me, Anaconda Squeeze. As you can see already, this is going to be a lovely update video because we have been very, very busy here and we have been slacking off on updating you guys on what's new. So this whole video, I'll show you guys what is kind of new here. As you can see, there's a ton of stuff. We have a huge boat now. We've got stuff over there. Uh, I will mention right now that uh, Defiant King's house got hit by lightning and it half burned down before we turned off fire spreads. Uh, and they've made stairs. Uh, today I'm joined by, oh, look, here you go, Cryptic Knight. Now get off the podium, next person. The Hunter is here, Wallison is back with us, and today we are joined by Sky One Rebel. He is somewhere here. I know he's somewhere. But yeah, so, we've got a few things from the job board done. I see the homeless man hiding right there. There's Sky. Alright, so we're still filling the pen with sheep. We're still digging down the mine. But the wheat field has been completed. Hunter finished that. It's all automated. It is super nice looking. And he is in the middle of doing the brewing house as well. So that will get done. Take you guys over here. We have replaced the cobblestone with sand in the storehouse there. And we've made an entire new, bigger storehouse just for cobblestone. Because it was getting a little ridiculous with how much we had. I'll take you this way. This is our wheat field. It's all automated here. So how it works is I have to go... Over here, turn it on, and these dispensers here are going to start shooting out just a lovely bunch of uh, bone meal. And I just walk by here with seeds, plant them down, and when I get to the end, I step on a pressure pad that sends all of the blocks that way. And that releases all the wheat, it releases all the seeds, and then I come back down here and do it as many times as I want. As long as I'm putting bone meal in there and I'm putting seeds down, it'll keep dispensing for me. Next thing to see, Hunter is currently working on this here. He is um, building us an automatic slaughterhouse for cows. He spent about an hour here getting cows to fit in this tiny little hole. And he, right before the video started, he just got the second cow in, so he's quite happy. Oh, I got a zombie in the middle of the city here. In an attempt to stop mobs, we have put lanterns all around the city. A glowstone here. It's got a trap door here. Wallace and worked on this one here. This is our cocoa bean farm. The beans get planted down here on the side. Once you're ready, you hit the switch there. Water comes by and knocks all the cocoa beans off. Super handy. So thank you, Wallace, for doing that. This building right here is our new brewing house. This is what Hunter's working on. Hunter is a fan of the spiral, the spiral redstone doors, so that's what we've got here. You hit the switch, and everything there gets taken away. It looks fantastic. It's one of the few ones that's worked every time. Usually when I see him make one, one block stays in the middle or something messes up, but so far everything is good. Uh, we have got... What do we got here? All right, walk it, oh, I've got the hobo as being a dick. He's going to get a punch. Oh, I'm gonna murder him. I think Sky's ruined it. Bad Sky. Bad Sky. Mouse has made a couple bridges here, so he's got some bridges. They're nice arch bridges here. Just so we can get our boats underneath still. And actually, I'll go show you what he's doing here. Let me see. I'll get some food into me so I can actually run. All I can hear is Hunter in the background being angry at Sky for fucking up his door. Mouse has been fixing the inside of his house. I don't know if he's done. I think he's still working on it. He's still mixing things around. But what I really want to show you is the back. He's made a huge pool with stairs all the way down. There's a deep end, a shallow end. He's got a diving board. And he's made a garden. He's made a pretty little garden with every flower that we can find. Alright. And Mouse has zombies all over the top of his house. Go over here. I feel like Cryptic is up to something. There's a back door, you morons. Oh, there's a creeper there, so we'll run away from him. Uh, another thing that I've got Wallace working on is he is doing some sort of nature preserve over here. So once that's done, we'll do a big tour of that. Uh, I've got the land kind of sectioned off here in plots, just so if people do want to build something like this, you've got an area where it can happen. i got a spider following me here. 
That's guy. Bad breaking the door. Over here, this is going to be where the villagers are going to live. Uh, I'm going to try to get villagers in here, try to have them living in this section here so we have trades all the time and trying to get enough of them so that iron golems will spawn. Behind our lovely storehouse, we have an oak tree farm, finally. It took forever, but we finally got one. We've also got a watermelon and a pumpkin farm. This nonsense giant thing here, so far, is Cryptic's house. I'm not sure what he's doing. I don't even think he knows what he's doing as of right now, but it's big, and it looks impressive, and no one else is doing it, so I'm happy. All right, so if you come past here, this is where a creeper blew everything up. But we have made, we had to make a cemetery because our mine cow, the mine cow is so happy about last episode. He despawned, but I'm blaming, I'm blaming mouse. Even though he didn't kill it, I'm saying he did. So this is where mine cow sleeps. And then over here, this is where Michel is. I'm going to whack you. This is our Michel grave. So we've only had two deaths. It's pretty good so far. All right, and this is Wally's house. He still has to light everything up, but it's looking, he's got like the best garden out of all of us, like for the front of his house. Like he's got this lovely little path and a tiny little garden here with a little gazebo of leaves. This is where he trapped a baby zombie on a chicken. And then we go to Hunter's. Hunter's house used to be over there. It's not anymore. Now this is his house. I'm not going to run. It's got a secret door back there. He's got to go up here. But this is what he's living in right now. A huge ass boat that used up all of our wood. And really, really required me to make that farm. So we'll run past our lovely king's dead house here. And we'll show you, as you can see, there's some new shit on my house. I've made an observatory. Because I was bored. And I was thinking about Powerpuff Girls. I was thinking about Mojo Jojo's house, how he had an observatory, and I wanted one. So I'll go show you that here, and then we're going to go, and we're going to go up to the top of my tower, and we are going to furnish the tower. So I'll show you my bottom floor. It's the only one I've got really done right now. I uh, put pistons down, and underneath the pistons there are redstone torches. I'm going to whack you, I swear to God, Sky. What are you up to? Uh, this idea was given me by Mouse. He did it in one of his survival worlds, so nice little shout out for him. My counters, more pistons, because I like the rock with the wood slab on top. I've got ovens. I've got cupboards here that open down or up. I've got glowstone everywhere, and then I've got a working fridge. So if you come to the fridge and you push this button here, I get a piece of bread. And if you come to this side and you push the button, I get some steak. So lots and lots of food from my house. I don't know why Sky is pooping on my flowers. Are you pooping on my flowers? You dirty hobo pooping on my flowers. Let's go upstairs here. I have taken out all the vegetables from upstairs and put them in the main room here. I'll figure something to do with here. I'll figure something else to do with up there. This is the observatory. Nothing really so far. This wall here is going to be all of our completed maps for the world. So I went around and we completed the first one here. As you can see, it's getting a little ridiculous with all of our stuff here. Upstairs, again, it's still pretty empty. I've just put some bookshelves down. But this is where you can look through the telescope. Right now, it shows you absolutely nothing. But I'm thinking in the future, I want to build something big out there. So when you look through, it's like a giant statue of me or a giant statue of all of us. I don't really know. But something out there. Maybe a big sign saying squeezy peasy. I have no idea. Yeah, so right now we are going to go to the tower. I'm going to go up the tower. I've, as you can see, I've made a little pool down here so we can jump down. Just filled the bottom with books there just so it's not so much empty space. These stairs are awful. I really think I need to redo these stairs because it's kind of a pain in the ass. But I'm not going to be up here that much, so... We won't worry about that right now. My plan is to make this into a brewing station. We'll have the big brewing house down there, but I figure the best thing to have in a creepy upstairs tower is a brewing station. So we're going to go here. It's all the stuff I kind of want. We're going to go in here. We're going to get a brewing stand. 
And I've already decided I kind of want to have it right here. And I'm going to have it sitting on a block of obsidian because that seems like the best block for it. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we are going to make some basins to collect water, which I cannot remember. I just looked at them. I have no idea where I'm going. It's with the bucket. That's where it is. Cauldrons. So we'll get one, two. Oh, and that's right. I also have to make, before I forget, and use all the iron here, an anvil. That's what it is. All right. So we can make some more cauldrons here because I think I ran out already. But my goal is to have cauldrons on the outside here that left enough room so that they will still collect water when it rains. Perfect. It's so nice and pretty now. All right. We'll put my anvil down there. And we're going to put some chests just around here. These are going to have all of our brewing ingredients. Perfect. Everything is looking great. I'll fill these up here with more ingredients once we get it going here. But yeah, that's all we've got done so far. As you can see, it's getting a little crazy, but it's like a good crazy. It's a happy crazy. Um, next thing we're hoping to do is we want to help Cryptic finish his house. We want to get the brewing house finished. Uh, I'm hoping that we can trap a zombie villager in here and cure a couple of them so we can get villagers start breeding. And then I know Wallison is working on his little nature walk there. Uh, in other news, we did get enough iron to make the beacon. Well, the beacon stand. We still don't have. We still haven't fought the wither. We still don't have. I think we're missing one or two skulls still. But we do have all the iron, so it's all placed down there. We'll get the beacon. We'll put it on top. I still have to work out something that's gonna a cover this up here. And what's going to be behind it, because I don't like this big empty space. I want to have something in behind it. I might actually do in here, like, a little shout-out to like, everyone that helped me and everyone that's done. Stuff like that. So, maybe that's the way we'll go here. Yeah, so I think we are going to continue working here. And hopefully we'll have a next video to you guys very soon. So, hope you guys had a great night. And we'll see you fucking later. Bye!